Unit 5, formative 2, day 1, solve by factoring. Okay, we're going to start by making sure everything's equal to 0. This one already is. So then we're going to look and we're going to just factor this. So x to the second, so we have x and x. a times c is 4. We figure out 1 times 4, multiplies to 4 and adds to 5. So we put our plus 1, plus 4, still equal to 0. The only difference is now that we're solving, we're going to set, since it has to equal 0, we're going to set each set of parentheses equal to zero. So on this one to solve we're going to subtract one from each side and get x equals negative one. Over here subtract four from both sides and get x equals negative four. Okay so factor the same way after you get it equal to zero and then set each set of parentheses equal to zero and solve. So like on number two, okay we don't have a c term right? Remember ax to the second plus bx plus c we're missing just the number. So we look at these and we say, okay, what do they have in common? Well, they both have an x. We're going to take an x out. If I divide an x out, I get 3x plus 13 equals 0. Okay? And then now there's nothing more we can do because there's no more x squared. So we set everything equal to 0. So you get x equals 0. And 3x plus 13 equals 0. Now this one's already done, so that's an answer. Over here we subtract 13. So we get 3x equals negative 13. Divide by 3. So you get x equals negative 13 over 3. You don't need to do a decimal. Okay, you can leave it just as a fraction. Simplify if you can. Number 3, it's not equal to 0 yet. So to make it equal to 0, we would need to subtract 7x from both sides. Remember, we want to keep it in order of the ax to the second plus bx plus c. So we'd have 2x to the second minus 7x minus 30. Now it equals 0. Okay, so it has to be equal to 0 before you start. And then you factor, just like normal. Keep it equal to 0, so 2x to the second. So you have 2x and x. a times c is negative 60. So we got to figure out what's going to multiply to 60 and add to 7. So you have 1 and 60, 2 and 30... 3 and 20, 4 and 15, 5 and 12, there you go, so it's going to be 5 minus 12. That 2 needs to be used to make the 12, so we need the minus 6, because 2 times negative 6 is negative 12. The other one's going to be plus 5. Okay, so now it's factored, and it still equals 0, so you're going to set each one equal to 0. So you have 2x plus 5 equals 0, and x minus 6 equals 0. Subtract 5, so you have 2x equals negative 5. Divide by 2, you get x equals negative 5 over 2. And then on the other side, you just have to add 6, so x equals 6. So you should get at least two answers every time. Okay, if it's a fraction, that's fine. Last one, again, it's still not equal to 0. So to make it equal to 0, we would need to subtract the 3x and add the 2. So over here you have x squared still, but you need to, oops, sorry. Subtract 3x and add 2. So we get our x squared minus 3x plus 2 equals 0. And then you factor x squared, so x and x. You have 2, so 2 and 1 to make a negative 3. They both need to be negative. So negative 2, negative 1. Set them both equal to 0. And solve. So add 2. So x equals 2. Add 1. So x equals 1. Okay, so that's factoring and solving. Factoring the exact same way. Just make sure it's equal to 0. And then set everything equal to 0 at the end and solve.